Welcome to Bikers Nights Off Direct from this luxurious whip it in. Luxurious. I'm Paul Johnston. And I'm Wayne Kershaw. And we're going to attempt to find out how much our teams know about the world of biking. So let's uh, let's do battle tonight and see who's doing battle because we've got the piston broke fork and calipers. Now then, the team captain for the uh, piston broke is Cole. Is that true? And he is an air conditioning technician. Sound, Technical chap. Sounds good. Which looks like he sounds like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> and then we've got Mel. She's a teacher. I bet she can be really dominant. Why, well, yeah. Hey, I hope. <laughs> and, um, and then Andy, uh, apparently known for crashing, he has an ability for crashing. Does he? And he's a farmer. A he's farmer? That. Yeah. No, don't, get hey. in, don't get involved with sheep, does he? Don't like that. Uh, hey, can you, uh, can you make a new turn, like? No, but I can make his eyes water. <laughs> hey! hey. Anyway. Old one, uh, the old ones are the best, aren't they? Yeah. You hey. can't beat the old ones. Well, a good you, team. You can't now, eh? Good team. Yeah. That is, that is, that lot. Is the piston broke? Well done. Really? <laughs> and the three over here. Well, I never. Oh, a lot, a lot. Hey, good lord. There's two racers here and a mechanic. Oh. Unlike the piston broke, who have had three racers, so we've got some clever lads here tonight yep. and a clever lady who races. But over here on the fork and calipers, I'd like to introduce to you the captain, who is Phil, known as Tenno, because that's similar to his surname. And he's a sales advisor. <laughs> oh, <All right. laughs> very nice. Oh. And next to him, we have Max, as in Biaggi. And I believe he races a 125, like the man mastered himself did. And he's a sales agent. And finally, the mechanic amongst them all. Uh, and that is Paul. <laughs> and that lot there is the fork and calipers. Yeah. There you go. Well, OK, that's uh, our gang for this week almost complete, apart from our favourite little biking beauty, it's Michelle Lineker. Yeah. Oh, so nice. She's, she's, got, she's got a frock on, Wayne. Who no, described that? I've got a girl tonight. Black hey. Wayne normally does on a Friday. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she's very like catty, isn't she, eh? Hey, she's very, very Hold catty. I don't know. We're going to have trouble with her tonight. Right, Wayne, let, let's uh, ease them in gently, eh? Let's, ease them in gently. Uh, get those brain cells going. <laughs> <laughs> don't start him off. The first game tonight, <laughs> chaps, is Know Your Bike. Mm. We've no idea what the bike is, but we want you to tell us. Know your bike. It's uh, it's not very technical, is it? No, it's simple. It, it just eases you in, as Paul has said. You've got to guess the identity of a bike that will be shown on your monitor. The pictures will get e the easier as we go along. The first picture is obviously more difficult, and then it gets easier. You score more points if you get it right on the first hit. If you understand what the hell I'm on about, I'll be amazed. <laughs> You've got a monitor in front of you. The piston broke, would you go first and tell us what bike you see on the screen? Bandit. I think that's an easy one, that. It's easy peasy, Dan. Suzuki Bandit. Good Suzuki Bandit. I said, well, which, which Suzuki Bandit? Oh, we want yes. to know which one. strict. <laughs> if you're going to be clever and get it on the first one, we want to know. 1200. He says a 1200 Bandit. Well, let's show him a bit more. There's a bit more. He's still You're saying cruel, the same. You are, right? I You're am cruel. This, aren't you? I am cruel. <laughs> I am cruel. Well, well. They're saying the same, aren't they? Well, let's show them a bit more. Six. Show them a bit more. Let's have a look. There you are. Oh, it's a 600. It is a 600 bandit. Yeah. Hey, well, well there, I think we're giving sort of half full marks for that right. because they were, they were close. Half full marks? Half full marks. I've got a teacher in. I'm trying to impress. <laughs> fork and calipers. Yeah. Look at your monitor, fork and calipers, and tell us what on earth that is. What do you think that is? Thunder Ace. Thunder Ace. Yamaha Thunder Ace. A Yamaha Thunder Ace. Well, let's have a look a bit more and see if you still think it's a Yamaha Thunder Ace. Yeah. Are you still saying a Thunder Ace? Yes, you are saying a Thunder yeah. Ace. Let's have, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's have a look at the third picture. <laughs> and there is indeed a Yamaha Thunder Ace. Well done. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Michelle. Can you sort that out? Well, actually, I can very easily, because I'm totally ignoring you. They got it right first go, so don't start getting fussy on me. Oh, um, CC's were right. Fork and Caliper did extremely well, 15 miles an hour, but the neck and neck, the piston broke as well, 15 miles an hour. There you go, there you go. <laughs> well, that was a nice, easy start, wasn't it, Wayne? <laughs> Simple yeah. like that. Do you know what it is there? Michelle's what? frightened of the school teacher. Is that what it is? Yeah, I reckon so, yeah. Well, I think it's she time now... She paid me before, actually. I'm sorry, Michelle? She paid me before. Was I speaking when you were interrupted then? I'm <laughs> sorry. Time <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> now for our two teams to start asking the questions as we play What's My Bike? Right. What's My Bike? I hope they can read. Uh, well, I don't, we didn't check that, did we? No, no. There's no, no pictures no. for this one. Now then, what you've got to do... What you've got to do... In front of you, and first of all, the uh, the fork and calipers can pick their cards up. When you pick your cards up, there will be a description of a motorcycle. 
on it. And we want each one of you to ask the opponent's team there, who are sat looking at you, mm -hmm. look frightened to death, we want you to ask them a question at a time. And we'll score according to how quickly, just like the last game, you get the answer. So, if you'd like to go first, Phil, and ask the Piston Broke team a question. Just give them the first uh, fact on that card. Right, so, right, the company that made this, this bike was established in 1954. That's very vague, isn't it? Tough no, one. Very vague. That, that might just give you the make, perhaps, if you know your companies. You might as well just hazard a guess. What do you think, Cole? Yamaha so far we're going for. You're going for Yamaha so far? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll give them another clue. Give it to This model was introduced in 1996. 1996. Any more guesses? It's quite recent, that, isn't it? That's I mean, fairly you know, recent. That's a newish bike, yeah. yeah. Come yeah. on, have a little bit of a chat have and a then tell us what you think it is, Cole. Have a wild guess. We'll give you some more clues if you want, but the points will go down. Have a guess, come on. Yeah. Do you think because no, the races... I think, I think we'll give them another clue. I just yeah. thought, because the races, they fell off a lot and banged give, their heads. Give them number three. <laughs> give them number three clue. Its predecessor was an X-Up. Its predecessor oh, was an X-Up. Oh, it's easy peasy now. Thundercat. Thunder Ace. Well, 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 which one are you going for? Thunder Ace. Thunder Ace they're going for. And I, we'll give them that. We'll have to. It is indeed a Thunder Ace. Thunder Ace. Right then. After three. After three. Uh, have a look at your cards now, guys. Pissed and broke people. After three? I thought you were going to give us a countdown then. No, they... One, two, three. <laughs> no, they've got it after three clues. Right, Carl, it's your turn to ask the Fork and Calipers oh. a question. Please do. Right. The company that made this bike was established in 1948. 1948? That's nearly ten to eight. I did that joke last week and <laughs> it wasn't did. funny then, was no, it? No, no, in the least, yeah. no. But you didn't get a laugh yeah, anyway. That might give you the make. Okay. It's a Honda. It's a Honda. Well, maybe. Well, I've got no idea because I've lost my card. <laughs> <laughs> Give him another clue. This model was introduced in 1997. 1997, it was introduced. What do you think? Do you know if I was sat there, I wouldn't have a clue what this bike was. Are you going to have a guess? Sat there, we know what clue, so. <laughs> yeah. Honda VTR 1000. It is indeed a Whoa. VTR 1000. Oh, oh, fabulous. <laughs> We got that in dirt, that didn't was we? We were going to give him more clues. We had other clues. It's known by three letters. It's a Honda. It's a 1998. Very clever, lads. They did well. Very clever. Three clues, two clues. Yeah, well, I have to say that does change things a little bit. We've got the uh, piston broke now on 20 miles an hour, but roaring into the lead are the fork and calipers with 25. Very yeah. good. <laughs> They're doing very well, aren't they? And in fact, our teams have been doing all the work up to now. Yes. Oh, but I think it's about time you've on got my shoulders now, isn't it? Got your finger out, got out there, and did your little party piece. Gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. Wayne is going to um, stand there, guys. And it, first for you, the piston broke team. Michelle, you can come and join me if Thank you like. Thank you. Yeah. Come and sit on this seat. And you will be gobsmacked if you get any of these right. <laughs> Wayne is going to explain parts we of the bike will. or bike related things without actually saying the words. You missed the word try. Try. Right. right. You are very trying, Wayne. Very trying. You indeed, always have been. So he's going to describe something without saying the words. The more guesses you have, the more chance you've got of getting it right. The more you get right, the more points you get. So shout them out as much as you can. Do you understand Wayne? that? Just guess, because you're not going to get a very good description. Right, are we ready? Go on. OK. Off you go. The first one. A minute. Uh, the gearbox is this, collectively. It's a very long word. It is, in fact, transmission. Transmission, correct. Well, correct. Done. well done. She's clever, that girl. And this bit is um, where the piston lives. It's barrel. A, cylinder. It is. It is where the cylinder Blow. barrel is, and it's a, a large capacity thing, and the explosion occurs in there. Combustion chamber. Combustion Whoa, chamber. You'll do Fantastic. For me. The petrol tank takes this in it. Fuel. It is fuel, fuel, and therefore it's the amount, the capacity. fuel capacity. Fuel capacity. Thank you. Hey, do nicely. Um, the amount of power, and we call it BHP. Brake horsepower. Brake horsepower. Correct. And now, you don't often have these on motorcycles, we have them on cars. Um, Maybe but yeah. it's. <laughs> well, you, you, you know. You, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's where the HT leads go, and you'd normally have a road. Distributor. Road. It's distributor, a distributor is good. Yeah. And then they, um, they, go, they slide up and down at the front of the bike. Oh, oh. Yes, and the, but they're. Stations. They are forks, and the long word in front of forks is like the thing on the. what you watch at home. Um, the. the. the um, <laughs> Oh, Lord, oh, the TV! The telescopic Telescopic! Yes. Yeah. 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 Good job, you're good at guessing, isn't it? Yeah. 
You have crank bearings, and then at the end of the crank main bearings, bearings, you have yeah main bearings, and then you have something to stop the oil going in and out. Oil seals. Yes. Oil oh, I said seals. oil. You're I said oil. I will let you off. Oh, all right then. Brake. The brake stuff goes in here. Five. The liquid. Reservoir. Yeah, and it's Three. called not brake. Two. It's called fluid. Yeah. Oh, oh, said fluid. Well, it was actually hydraulic fluid the last one. I think we'll give you that because you were on the right. Because you feel generous. If you could have got hydraulic fluid off that description, you'd have deserved it. You deserve a medal. You know, I need a drink. Hey, four kilos. Same for you. The more you shout out, the more chance you've got of getting some points. Wayne. I don't, what, he's, look at him, he's a, he's a pig, isn't he? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry for slapping. <laughs> I'll give you a minute. Right then. Off you go. Number one, it isn't an alternator, it is a... The old time, not dynamo. alternators, no, not a dynamo, generator. but a, a generator. generator. That's right, yes. that'll do. Um, it isn't the forks, it's at the back of the bike, the wheel goes in between it. Swing out. That'll Swing do nicely, Max, correct. thank you. Um, it isn't five, it isn't seven, it's... Six. Yeah, and it's... Six pot it's, calipers. Six yeah. pot calipers. Oh, well done, Fantastic. keep it up. Um, the seals go in here, so does the um, the con rods go onto this very large crank. thing. Crank. Yeah, crank. and there, it's not the crank, crank it is crank today. Crank case yeah. is correct. Crank. Well done. Oh, good lord, this is very good. In fact, this is a stroboscope, and I can only just say it, and I'm not describing it. Thank you very much. Uh, the wheels are made of this. Um, magnesium alloy. Yeah, alloy, you said yeah, alloy. alloy. Well, it's not yeah. magnesium alloy, it is the alternative. It's a very short word and it starts with a Z. <laughs> I love cheating. Come on, lads. Z. Ran, ran short the word. Zinc. Yes, zinc, zinc it is. Zinc alloy. Zinc alloy. Oh, it's zinc not alloy. at the front where the headlight is, it's at the back where your brake shines tail and it tail lights. Tail light yes. is correct, no. well done. And then finally, it's the tick over. You adjust the tick Five. over and it's, oh, it's the idle speed. Idle speed, idle speed. Oh, idle speed. Yes, you can oh, have oh, oh, I love oh. it when she gets the horn, don't you? <laughs> hey, fantastic. Michelle! Well, I reckon you'll have that because um, you actually. can't count, can you? Past no. five and, and piston broke. Actually, did very well. Piston broke got eight there. Off them descriptions, can you? Believe I can't believe how bad those descriptions were. Actually, and, and fork and calipers um, actually got seven. Well, this yeah. makes so it, it does. Uh, this now. makes it very interesting because what that actually means is now they are both neck and neck. Oh! Yeah. Oh. It's exciting. Oh, now for a, a quick break, but here's a quick question for you to, to keep you uh, keep you thinking during the break. On a French motorway, there are in fact two different speed limits: one for the wet and one for the dry. Do you know what they are in miles per hour? Well, we'll tell you the answer after the break here on Bikers Bike Night. <laughs> to the whippet in and to put you out of your misery this thing about two different speed limits in france carl has, has got the answers he's got various answers to this carl what's these two different speed limits well, in france? two different speed limits and the first one is flat out in the dry and slightly backed off if it's raining <laughs> <laughs> what's the other one the other one's flat out or flat out with wet tires on <laughs> It's a racer, isn't it? You can tell. Yeah. No, the actual answer is there's uh, two different speed limits. If it's wet on a French motorway, the limit is 68 miles an hour. And if it's dry, you can go 81 miles an hour. Isn't that strange? Did, eh? How did you know that then? I don't know. I read, you it, broke read the speed it in limit, a book somewhere. No, regular. no, not me, not at all. Well, you will notice there is some uh, biking clobber in front of our two teams, which they are now going to fondle, aren't they, Wayne? They're going to fondle with the clobber. They're going yes, to indeed. fondle the clobber. Yes, yes, the idea is what we want you to do is. is Play with that item. Mm. Is, and Michelle enjoy. In, is Michelle in this game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know, I'm disappointed in fondling and I'm not involved. It's just not on, really. <laughs> well, they are. <laughs> right, well, I'm sorry, Michelle, you can't play yet. I know you like to fondle. The idea Thank is you've you. got to fondle. Will you fucking calipers put that coat down? It's not your <laughs> going. <laughs> no, you can, you can have first, a... <laughs> have a look. Tell us how much you reckon that would hang up on the shelf for and sell at full recommended retail price. Right, yeah, no. Have you, have you left the price ticket in one? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> he's checking it to bits here, look. He's checking to see if there's... Oh, yeah. Look, he's checking, look, yeah. <laughs> he's looking for a wallet in the pocket there, that's what he's after. He is a scouser after set, all. A set of car keys, eh? Watch that. Uh, yeah, but there's loads of them. <laughs> no need for that, is there? <laughs> right, come on then, what do you reckon? What do you think? Tell us, Carl, what do you reckon your teams? We're going for 130 quid. 129.99. 129.99, eh? You're on the right. market, that yeah. man. Well, yeah, make, make a note of that, Michelle. 129.99. I've got the, figures for Michelle to write down. Fucking calipers. Right. Have a fondle. Right. What do you think? 
Open it up. We want to know what you would Michelle's pay for that. Michelle's very studious there when she's writing things down, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. I'm not writing, I'm drawing I pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's playing hangman. So yeah. that, boys. <laughs> Fancy bit of kit. I mean, I reckon that, that Matt should be the master lad. of this as he's a purveyor of high-quality clothing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so he tells us anyway, not that I've noticed. So, come on, give us a price. Yeah. Tell us what Nothing you think it is. Phil. climbing, etc. Come Lovely. on. Come on, what do you think? Come on, Phil. Yeah. Would you prefer a question about sport or something? 139 Where did we get saying? the... He said 139.95. Can I just say I'm going shopping where you shop if you can get that for that. We'll say no more. So, uh, Michelle, 129 whatever. I have to say they were very close because that is actually worth £139. So that was very, very close. Very good guess. And uh, you, well, you might as well just get your coats on and go home now because that was actually... Two hundred and thirty-five pounds worth of rubber. <laughs> so, what that, out, so what that means that the fork and caliper are now on thirty-five miles an hour, and the piston broke are on forty miles yeah. an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it's now time for that uh, old chestnut, my favourite bit. I love this bit. Whose bike is it anyway? Right, what we have here, lads. Mm. And, and madam, I do apologise, Mel. I forgot about you there. Look. <laughs> we've got we've got some people on the screen. Three people. One is telling the truth. The other two are liars. All pretending this week to be Honda Dominator riders. So if you know your Dominators, you can tell us which one is telling the truth. Have a look at this. Go for it. I bought a Dominator because I like big twins. I like my Dominator because it does 120 miles per hour. The best thing about my Dominator is its air-cooled engine. Well, what they actually said, just to recap, the first one said she likes big twins. <laughs> Don't we all, darling? Said, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Michelle, I know about that. <laughs> uh, so the first one likes big twins. The second one <laughs> says it does 120. The third one says she likes it because it's got a good air-cooled motor. Okay then. What do you what think? What is your answer? On the Dominator. We're going for the last one, number three. The last one. It's number got number an air-cooled motor. Well, shall we see who's right? Let's have a look at this. Right. You are absolutely yeah. correct. Yeah. Very good. She didn't, want to put that, she didn't want to put that helmet on in fear of messing her hair up. She didn't want to ruin yeah. her pigtails. Because obviously she rolled there on that Dominator. You think obviously. so? Oh, yes. You think so? Right, Falcon yeah. Calipers, something very similar to you. Three guys here, mm. all pretending to be ZZR 1100 riders. So if you know your Kawasaki's, you'll, uh, <laughs> you can tell us which one of these is telling the truth. Have a look at this. My ZZR has the biggest engine in the Kawasaki range. I bought a ZZR 1100 in 1989. I bought a ZZR 1100 because it does 170 miles an hour. There we go. So the first one says he, <coughs> his ZZR is the biggest engine in Kawasaki's range. And the second one, he said he bought it in 89. And the third one said it does 170. So which one did you think? Phil looks confident. We've had a long discussion about yes. this. <laughs> yeah. no, no pressure, but you need this, lads. You need the parts. No, no pressure. So what do you reckon, Phil? Spit it out. The last one. The, the last, last one, one, it does 170 miles an hour. Let's have a look. It was yeah. indeed the last one. Well done, well guys. Very good. Right yeah, they're good, aren't they? They're so, good, aren't they? Michelle? Michelle, yeah, what's well, the scores? Well, basically what that means is the Fork and Caliper are catching up very slowly and they're on 45, but still in the lead on 50 miles an hour, the Piston Brakes. Yeah. Well, very good. Well, we're now almost done, almost done, but just time for the home straight. Very rowdy now, this one. Yeah, it's the alcohol kicking in. It's yeah. It is the alcohol kicking in. It's bikers, brew, good stuff. It's very mm, close. Lot. We've got the piston broke here on 50 miles per hour. Yes. And mm -hmm. the fucking calibers on 45. Well, they could catch up and overtake if they try well, their very best. This is basic, <laughs> very, very best. Very, 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 very Simple very best. stuff now, guys. Piston broke, you're going to go first. You're going to get uh, a um, selection of questions. Straight question and answer. Nothing complicated, is there? Well, it's a good job, really, isn't it? Because <laughs> well, he well, can't no. read anything complicated. No, nothing, nothing complicated. So, uh, shall we kick off? Why not, then? You'd like to go first, Paul? I'd go you. first, if you want. OK. Right, piston broke. Here we go. First question. Who won the senior TT five times in a row between 63 and 67? Paul would remember this. 1963, 1967. I bet he was senior there at the time. TT. I wasn't there, actually. I was at school. Who do you reckon? Go on, Cole, guess. I have a guess. Very guess famous what? racer. It was Mike Hailwood. Ooh, <laughs> well, no, it was actually it, it, Mike one? Hailwood. It was Mike Hailwood. We'll give you that. We'll yeah. Ooh, you're an easy peasy. We'll right. give you that. Wait, I'm giving that. <laughs> I will give you this question. <laughs> Which it. country makes Jawa bikes? 
Shower. Jay, hey, hey, W A. Would you like us to sing us a sing a song while we? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Yeah, it's so okay. Well done. Yeah. Now listen very very carefully, Mister Brock, to this one. True or false, you could have bought a shag in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> you can get one here if you want. <laughs> Come on, give an answer. True or false? Spit it out. True or false? True. True or false, it is true, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you don't have to go to Germany for one, though, really. You don't, no, no, no. The place is around here if you know where to go. Listen, uh, I'll house. just explain that. I said you could have bought a shag. A shag is spelled E S C H A G, all one word. Good job, they changed the name to it's NLAG. Not, you know. <laughs> and anyway, no. anyway, it was true. Right, here we go. Falcon yeah. Calipers, right questions now. and answers. Here we go. Who won the senior TT five times in a row between 1968 and 1972? And the clue is it wasn't the same chap who won it in between 63 <laughs> and 67. Oh, it was a different different Come man. On, Bob McIntyre. No, it was oh, Giacomo it? Agostini. Oh, Actually, oh, Agostini. Oh, 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 oh. Right then, chaps, which country makes Enfield? Enfield. India. 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 India is very good. Very good. True or false? Nice, easy one for you. Italians used to ride a shifty. They mostly are. Shifty. A shifty. They are shifty, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Italians. It's easy. There's fifty percent really chance of being right or wrong. Guess. Well, it's fifty-fifty. True. It is in fact true. true. It is. Yeah. 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 And yeah. finally, yeah. a quick one now. What is a bash plate? Usually, is a quick one. <laughs> a bash plate. Sump bash plate. Uh, protects your sump. It is something used yeah. for protecting your sump. Yeah, mainly that's, on that's road bikes. Well that's very good. Um, so, a quick one. What year was the Yamaha V Max introduced? 88. 88. 88. 88. No, it was 85, but there we go. Oh, I think they got about three. three. They got about four. Three. They both got three. They both got three. I can three. add up. They both got three. Oh, what does this mean then? What that means four. is, at the end of the day, unfortunately. Oh, hey, we'll have no, no fighting, no fighting. What that means is the fork and caliper made a brave attempt and got 60 miles an hour, but whizzing along and winning are the piss and brakes. Yes, miles an hour. Yeah. Well, well to our winners, and that's it for another week at the Whippy Tin, and we'll see you all next time here on Bikers Night Off. Night off. Yeah. <laughs>